Hi Tapas. Hi. Welcome back to Sudhi Podios channel. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much for taking out time to share some important information and useful tips with our viewers. And we are really glad to have you back on the channel. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. First of all, thank you very much for the earlier interview, the first interview. Um, it's got some great um, responses. I've got some heartfelt messages coming in. I, the due credit goes to you. And uh, uh, I hope to continue this again regularly. Thank you. And for today, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be showing um, how to use Mac OS's inbuilt features um, to make music better. I mean, how to improve your efficiency while making music using just the inbuilt features that Mac OS has to offer. Great. So why don't we take a look? Yes, sure. The first tip that I'm going to be showing you is how to combine two sound cards and make them look as one in your DAW or in Logic or Cubase, whatever you're using on the Mac. Let's say you have one sound card that has 8 in, 8 out and another smaller sound card that has 4 in, 8 out, 4 in, 4 out. So how you can use, combine both of them to use 12 in, 12 out and make Logic or any of your DAW uh, use them as one and not two separate sound cards. Here we go. The first thing you do is, uh, of course, connect both the sound cards. Uh, with whatever uh, firewire USB whatever it is then from finder go to utilities in utilities open your audio MIDI setup most of you open this regularly over here you can see I have got a Moto Traveler and a Moto 828 Mark II these both are connected to the system now I want to combine both of them so that I can have combine outputs and inputs for both the sound cards so I'll click on the plus button over here create an aggregate device it's called an aggregate device. Now I can name it to whatever I want. I'll say Motu Sound Cards. On the right pane, I can select which devices I want to combine. So I've got a bunch of devices over here, including the built in digital input, output, line output. You can combine as many as you want, but for this example, we'll just combine the two sound cards. So one, I'll select the 828 Mark II and the second one, Traveller. So now, I have the 828 Mark II and Moto Traveller showing up as Moto sound cards with 36 in and 36 out. Once this is done, you close this, launch your favorite DAW, for me it's Logic. Okay, once your favorite DAW is launched, you need to go into Audio Preferences, wherever that is, and change your sound card to whatever name you've given. Uh, we'll just have a look at that right now. Let me show you one thing. Adit, if you can pan over here. This is a normal audio track, a stereo audio track. And in the I.O., let's see if we can give see how many outs do we see. So in output, I'm seeing clearly 14 outs, right? Now, we'll change that by going to the preferences. Audio. And in audio, right now you can see that selected device is 828 Mark II we'll change it to Motu sound cards. That's what we had named the aggregate device. So we'll change to that, hit apply. We go back again to the output section of the strip. And now you can see we've got 36 outs. Ain't that cool? Now some of you might be wondering why would you want to do this? Uh, there are many reasons why someone would want to combine sound cards. One, a normal sound card doesn't have more than two mic pre inputs let's say you want more mics you're recording a band you want more mic inputs so this is one way to do it you can combine sound cards to get more mic mic pre's um, why I use it the most is when I want more digital outputs uh, optical outputs any sound card gives you only most standard sound cards give you one optical output which is eight out uh, I, I do a lot of work in surround so I need multiple channels I need my dialogues to be in surround my effects my music so I use 8 plus 8 optical out 16 outs to lay out everything on my board over here so um, that's 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 what, just one of the reasons but I'm sure you'll find your own reason to combine sound cards if not just have fun with it 